Hey everyone! Here is your stimulus check update, news report, and stimulus package update for Monday, January 4th. I will be going over the latest news in today's video, including how House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Newt Gingrich are pushing Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to allow vote on a bill for larger stimulus checks. What President Donald Trump is doing to get $2,000 stimulus checks passed right now, and when the $2,000 stimulus checks will be sent out. Make sure to subscribe and like this video for more stimulus check updates. So right now, the majority of Americans support $2,000 stimulus checks. According to polling by Data for Progress, Across the political spectrum there is wide support for further $2,000 direct stimulus payments for every American. Another study released by Data for Progress that Americans blame the Republican leaders for failure to pass the measure. Do you support $2,000 stimulus checks? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 54% of Republicans support $2,000 monthly checks. 60% of independents support $2,000 monthly checks. 78% of Democrats support $2,000 monthly checks. The Democratic led House of Representatives approved legislation authorizing the $2,000 checks, increasing by $1,400 the $600 payments that were called for in the $900 billion package President Donald Trump signed. Americans have already started receiving the $600 checks. Also, I wanted to let you know that people who receive their second stimulus check in paper form can send their payment to their bank accounts for free using the Venmo app. The mobile payment service says it is waiving the fees usually charged as part of its cash and check feature for a limited time. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer recently said that Democrats would allow for votes limiting a liability shield for tech companies and establishing a commission to examine the 2020 election if Republicans agreed to hold a separate vote on sending $2,000 checks to most Americans. Schumer said, just give us a vote on the House passed bill, and we can vote on whatever right-wing conspiracy theory you like. The remarks came shortly after a speech from Majority Leader Mitch McConnell who slammed the $2,000 direct payments as socialism for the rich. Mitch McConnell has refused to hold a separate vote on the stimulus payments, instead tying them a legislation that would repeal Section 230 and create a commission to study alleged issues with a presidential election. President Donald Trump demanded that Congress move forward with all three issues when he agreed to sign a $900 billion relief package. Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act, which shields Internet platforms from liability for user-created content, has long been criticized by conservatives who have sparred with companies like Facebook and Twitter over unrelated issues. In explaining his opposition to the $2,000 stimulus checks, Senate Majority Leader McConnell said from the Senate floor that the Senate is not going to be bullied into rushing out more borrowed money into the hands of Democrats' rich friends who don't need the help. As the leader knows, usually on this day, the day of our swearing is, there is a bipartisan church service that we all attend where we pray together for America. Until that is possible again, let us all pray personally. Pray that let there be peace on earth and let it begin with us. That is our recurring theme. And our prayers, as we all know, are very needed now. As we are sworn in today, we accept a responsibility as daunting and demanding as any previous generation of leadership has ever faced. We begin this new Congress during a time of extraordinary difficulty. Each of our communities has been drastically, drastically affected uh, by the pandemic and its economic crisis. 350,000 tragic deaths. We sadly carry them in our hearts. Over 20 million infections. 
millions without jobs, a toll beyond comprehension. I think McConnell is to blame for the like of $2,000 stimulus checks. Please subscribe and like for more stimulus relief videos.